Hey there, my name is Rob Knight and this is my review of the Tenba Fulton 16L Backpack version 2. Um, I received this backpack a little while ago and due to the pandemic, as you might imagine, my travel has been limited uh, compared to what it was. And I don't like to do a review of a product until I actually get a chance to use it. And I just got back from Costa Rica a couple of weeks ago, with, uh, which was my first opportunity to actually pack up the new Fulton backpack and use it in the field. And uh, I'm gonna talk about the things that really stuck out to me uh, as that I liked and a few things that I didn't like, and then I'll go into kind of what I put into the bag. Now, the first thing I noticed when I started to actually use the bag, take it to the airport with all my gear and try to, you know, actually uh, carry it around was just how comfortable the harness is. And honestly, I didn't expect that. This is, uh, this is not the, the usual Tenba uh, access bag that I normally use that has an obviously, you know, technically designed harness and it's very comfortable and I really uh, enjoy that. But Honestly, the, the Fulton bags look sort of like uh, what you'd call a lifestyle bag, right? It doesn't look like it's necessarily a serious photography bag, so to speak, but man, the shoulder straps on this thing were so comfortable. And the way that they're attached here with a little seat belt webbing at the top makes them really flexible. The padding is very thick. I found that the sternum strap was uh, easily adjustable to just how I like it. and. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised how comfy the bag is to wear uh, when it was fully loaded. Uh, it does have a waist belt that you can remove, and honestly, I would probably remove it in the future. It's just not a big enough bag, at least the 16 liter size, um, to really, for me, to warrant wearing uh, the waist belt. So I just kind of uh, looped it and kept it like it was and didn't find myself using it very much. But it just comes off with a simple tri-glide type of a, of a buckle there. So that's cool. Uh, I love that it has a handle on the top. Tenba is really good in my experience with, uh, when you go to grab a bag, it seems like all my Tenba bags, there's always a handle where I wanna grab it. And I love that. Uh, that's great. This pocket on the side is the perfect size for uh, a water bottle, you know, kind of a great big water bottle. It's a stretchy pocket on one side. Um, they do have little adjustable straps here, so if you wanted to put, uh, say, a jacket or something like that uh, here, that would be great for that. And the other side has a heavier canvas uh, pouch that you could put a couple of legs of a small tripod in. My tripod's a little bigger than that, so it, I didn't find that useful. However, if you've watched any of my other review videos for bags, I, I've always said I, I like a shoulder bag at the airport because when I'm going through the airport, I'll take my phone and my passport and my wallet and all that stuff that you can't take through security and I'll just throw it into my shoulder bag. Well, uh, what I found with, with this Temba bag, with the, um, the Fulton, is that I would use this side pocket. It's a perfect size. Throw your phone in it, your wallet, then you throw it through security, no problem, and you can get it out very easily. It's easy to access just by taking one shoulder out of the bag. Um, and it's kind of like having a shoulder bag. So I really found that useful. Um, the one thing that I didn't really dig with the Fulton backpack was uh, the trolley strap. And I, I love that it has a trolley strap and I, I really like a bag that, that has this strap. And the idea here is that when you're using your rolling luggage, you just loop this strap over the handle and then it keeps the bag and you don't have to wear it the whole time you're in the airport. I don't know if you can tell in the in the video just how far this strap is from the bottom of the bag. And I found that with the two suitcases that I tried to use it with, the handle of the suitcase is basically at the exact same height as this trolley strap. So I would basically have to hold the trolley strap to keep the bag on there. Uh, it's not as simple as some of my other Tenba bags where you just loop it over the, the handle and it slides down a little bit. So. You know, with a bag like this, that it does open on the back to access your gear, I guess it would be a lot harder to put the strap lower because then you're actually on the part of the bag that's gonna open and it might lead to, you know, accidentally opening the bag. But um, I found that less than, than usable. Uh, as far as another kind of uh, 
it's not even something I didn't like. It's just uh, not as convenient as I would have liked. The top of the bag is this roll top design, which I actually did like very much because right now there's actually a lens in here so I can roll it all the way down and cinch it down like that. Um, then if I'm going through the airport, I always take a, a hoodie or a little jacket to onto the plane. So I can actually fill this up, put my, my hoodie in there and only roll it once or twice and still uh, use the bag perfectly fine uh, without anything flopping around. Uh, so the part that I'm not super crazy about is this, uh, the, this strap and this hook. So it hooks onto the back of the bag. Once you roll it down, then you just take this hook and loop it through here to, to hold it down, which works fine. Now, what I would love is if I could easily just go zip and tighten it down, but it, it doesn't really do that. So if you want to tighten it down, you have to really you know, adjust the strap and, and tighten it. And it, again, it's not the end of the world, but it could be a little easier to use in the field. And then I, I found that I would just sort of loop this strap in here to keep it from flopping around. That's not really a way that's built in to, to store it. So um, again, I, I like the process of it. I would have loved to have some of the, more of this sort of conventional Tenba seat belt type webbing so that I could adjust that a little more easily in the field. Uh, not the end of the world, but um, if I had to pick, that's what I would do. So I'm going to show you um, what's in the top before I talk about what's inside the bag because it's kind of important. Um, in the top here, I've got uh, a Sigma uh, 150 to 600 millimeter lens. Uh, is, this is the E-mount version. And honestly, I, it won't fit in this size bag in the 16 liter. It won't fit in the 16 L attached to a camera. Okay. So luckily it's almost exactly as wide as the bag is on the top. So that was no big deal to put that on the top, but I didn't have the option when I was using the bag to, um, you know, if I was using the, this lens on the camera, I couldn't just throw it in the bag if it started to rain or something like that. So that was just something I had to keep in mind while I was out shooting, but in practice was not a really big deal because this is not the kitchen sink bag, right? This is not my, you know, Axis 24 liter that holds all the lenses and all the cameras and I, you can't fit. I mean, I guess if you had smaller lenses, you could fit two bodies with a lens on each in here, but it's just not really that bag. This is more of the, um, a more of a traveling light kind of a you know city bag for lack of a better word but um, I do love the fact that it opens on the back so as when you're traveling nobody can get into the camera compartment while you're wearing the bag and, and I've always liked that plus if you set the bag down on a, on a dirty surface uh, you can keep the straps out of the way and out of the mud or whatever and still get into your bag you can also keep the waist belt around you and open it in front of you and get into it without taking the bag off at all. So um, the, uh, the padding here is really nice. It's got that, that air mesh that a lot of Tenba bags have, which I like. Uh, no pockets on the lid at all, but um, I've got one camera body with a 24 to 105 millimeter lens. I've got, this is the, um, the big Sigma, uh, uh, what is this? 14 to 24 millimeter f 2.8 wide angle lens fits in here just fine. But you can see this big boy, I could put it in here, but it's going to take a, a lot of space and, and really limit the usability of the rest of the bag. Um, I've got a little 35 millimeter lens here um, and your normal stuff, right? Your, your uh, card wallet, your extra batteries. I've got a little first aid kit. The LED that I'm using to film this video was, was right here. Um, so again, this is not the kitchen sink type of, uh, you know, I'm going to shoot anything and everything for six weeks type of a bag, but I found it absolutely perfect for a week long trip with three lenses and one camera body and, and the accessories that go with that. And the other great thing about this size is that you, even if you load it down, it's, it's not so heavy. You can't carry it. Um, you know, it's, I love my, my Axis 24 bag. But man, when that thing's loaded down, it's, I'm, I welcome the, uh, the option to put it down sometimes or attach it to my suitcase because it's just darn heavy, right? Um, there is an outside pocket here that 
uh, actually opens really wide, which I like. Um, you know, this is where you can, it's got a little loop here if you want to attach your, your card wallet or your keys or something like that. There's a padded sleeve here for a laptop or uh, I put my iPad in here, no problem. And basically just plenty of room for, for smaller accessories. One of my uh, clients during the workshop a couple weeks ago was lamenting the fact she kept kind of coveting this bag. She said, I really like that bag. I, I, what, you know, what kind is that? And, um, but she noted several times that there's nothing here to uh, attach a jacket or something like that. And that would have been nice. You know, a lot of hiking type backpacks have you know, just a little elastic or a net or something so that you can, you know, roll up a, a rain jacket and just throw it in here. Um, and I, I think that would definitely be a benefit for a bag like this. Um, even to keep something low key and kind of keep the sort of, I mean, it's got kind of an adventure -y look, but you could still pull that off with a little uh, functionality on the, on the top here um, to keep a jacket or something. And if, you've, uh, if you have other Temba bags, you may have noticed the conspicuous absence of a rain cover. And honestly, I didn't even think about it until I was in Costa Rica and it started to rain. And I thought, oh crap, there's not a rain cover with this bag. There's not one, you know, attached or anything like that. It doesn't come with one. Um, I found that this fabric here, the, there's a little bit shinier fabric and then more of a regular cotton canvas. Um, uh, I did get in the rain a little bit, not really a big downpour, but um, it shed the rain pretty well and it, and it basically kept the inside from getting wet, which is great. And... Uh, you know, if you do get caught out in the rain, at least your gear is behind three or four or five layers of, you know, the exterior of the bag and then the padded pocket underneath. I think uh, in the future, I'm going to just basically get some uh, waterproofing spray and, and spray this down. Uh, something else I would keep in mind in the, in the weather would be to keep the zippers down to the side because the zippers are not sealed, but it, the, the best you could do would be to have so that the the gap between the two zipper pulls wasn't just right on the top um, and honestly at this point i have not looked on the tenba website but i would imagine that they uh they would offer a rain cover for it and if not i'm sure you can use uh, a similar one i could i if i had thought about it i would have just taken the rain cover from one of my axis bags and just carried that uh, in case i needed it in the field but um as usual with Tenba bags, it feels like a product that was designed by somebody who has used a camera before, who, uh, who has carried a backpack before. So again, it's comfortable. It carries all my things. I think for um, most of what I do nowadays, it's pretty rare that I go and carry six or eight lenses somewhere. I'm, I'm pretty aware of the type of images that I generally capture and as much as I can, I try to carry just the equipment that I'm going to need. So two, three lenses uh, is plenty for me. Uh, if you need to carry additional things, if you need to carry a, you know, a guidebook or a jacket, this roll top pocket is really great for that. Um, if I were to go on, uh, you know, a family vacation and bring camera gear, this is absolutely the bag I would take. Uh, unlike just the regular shoulder bag, this has room for extra uh, things that aren't necessarily related to photography and that kind of thing can come in really handy um, if you're on you know vacation but um, I don't know have you tried these bags have you tried the bigger ones and the smaller ones let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, I appreciate you watching the video it's good to see everybody again take it easy